Right, this is the second question in first chapter. Uh, we have some systems described by these uh, expressions and we want to check whether these systems are linear or not. Okay, what is a linear system? We simply say that a, a system is linear if uh, a superposition principle or superposition property applies to that system or is true in that system and what is a superposition principle what well, the superposition principle is actually simply says that for a system like s assume that the input x1 results output y1 okay and input x2 if we give input x2 to the system the system gives us output y2 okay so if this system is linear if any combination of these two inputs like alpha x1t plus beta x2t if we give this input this can be this uh, combination of the first and the second input to the system then the system gives us an output like this if this is true then we say this system is a linear system so what we need to do is only we check this principle uh, for each of the expressions here and see whether that's correct or not so let's start with the first one here we have a system if we give the system xk this is this system outputs yk and yk is 2 times xk plus 5 okay so first I assume the input xk is x1k okay then the system outputs the output yk is yy y1k which is equal to 2 times x1k plus 5 okay uh, I give another input x2 so I assume the input is a different signal it's x2 and for this input uh, the output yk becomes y2 k which is 2 times input plus 5 okay now I assume that input is a combination of the first and the second input okay uh, so I assume that the input xk is alpha x1k plus beta x2k all right so what would be the output based on the expression here based on the relationship based on uh, the relationship between input and output here I can say that the output would be two times input well this time this is the input to the system so two times input means two times alpha x1k plus beta x2k plus 5 okay what I need to do is to expand this uh, what I need to do is I expand this 
and check that can I find this expression and this expression in that or not so let's expand this one to see what happens okay so I can say yk the output for this input is um, alpha 2 x1 k plus beta 2 x2 k plus 5 well I assume that you agree that this guy here is what's this this is hmm, this is beta y 2 k right if you check that with this one and time multiply this y 2 k by beta you get this all right so what do we left here it's this guy here okay we set in a linear system if input is alpha x 1 k plus beta x 2 k we expect the output to be alpha 1 y k plus beta y 2 k so we found that in the output mm. we found this guy here in the output but for the rest it doesn't match with what we expect what we expect is for this one to be alpha 2 x 1 k plus 5 we have this part we have alpha we have um, we have this part here but this 5 okay we don't have the 5 there so we can say that if we give this input to the system it doesn't give us this output that means we can conclude the system is non-linear the system is not linear okay this is the part a so i uh, stop the video here to make the shorter videos so it would be easier for you to download